Hey guys, I want to do a quick review on Battle Steel Level 4 Ceramic. These are 10 by 12. Um, I'll tell you why I bought these and then I'll tell you why I would caution against buying them. Um, on a side note, they fit uh, great in the Cry JPC 2.0 and the Condor Mop C. A little looser in the Condor, but um, that's a kind of a bigger carrier made for a lot of stuff. But These are... Uh, Triple curve. I think they just list them as single curve, but it's triple curve. You can see the top curve, um, then you can see the bottom curve too. Um, I like the curve. Um, the way they get around listing these at 0.8 inches thick is that there's no foam on the on the back or the front. You're literally you got a thin piece of whatever this vinyl stuff is. The only foam it's got on is this edge, which is really thin. It's probably less than a quarter of an inch. Um, so these don't have any protection on them. Um, I got on the internet and geeked around and everything I would find that was, uh, a decent deal was, you know, sold out for six months. So I said, screw it. I'll just get some cheap ones now and then I'll get some nicer ones later. I've got some HESCO 4800s, um, uh, should be here in a week. So, um, but for a hundred bucks, I thought, hey, this is a pretty good deal. Um, I watched Mr. Guns and Gear and his reviews. I mean, they were shooting them up pretty good. Um, I don't know if they would, they probably wouldn't pass certification, but I thought for a hundred dollars a piece and watching Mr. Guns and Gear's review, I thought, hey, give it a shot. Um, but here's the main reason why, why I made this video. I want to caution y'all. It's the way they ship these things. Um, so they came in the box face down. They have a th really thin piece of foam. It's, it's very thin. I wish I had it to show you, but I took some pictures. Um, really thin piece of foam, like a foam bag they put over it. Like, it wouldn't do much at all. It wasn't like air bubbles or anything. I'm talking really thin. I don't know how to compare it. But each one of them was in that. And then they were stacked together. And then there was like a two pieces of paper. Like packing paper. Like literally like notebook paper that's large that they just laid down in the bottom of the box. And then it was in a box. There wasn't any peanuts around it. There wasn't anything. I mean, I'm about to show you the boxes. This is my this is my thing. You can't ship, especially with plates that don't have any foam on them. You can't ship them like that. I mean, these are my first plates I bought, but you're about to see this box that's you know torn up. Who who knows how many airplanes it was on, trucks it was in, how many times it got you know thrown on a conveyor belt. Um, just wasn't comfortable at all with it. And I look back at my emails. I've exchanged 40 emails with them. Here's uh, here's the side of the box. Make sure I don't have any personal information or anything up here. Um, here's the side of the box. And you can see that curve right there. Right there. That was following the top of the, the back of the plates because they were face down. Let me show you another picture. So this is the, this is another picture. You can see it followed that curve. Um, here's the other side. You can really see where, you know, it got rubbed up against something, but that, that curve right there was following the, um back of the plates so this box got a brute abused i mean there's no doubt about it let me show you the the foam stuff i was talking about sorry this is the wrong email let's see i had to send them pictures what they were going to do was they were going to file a claim with their carrier and probably get the money back for these. Um, so they have me send these pictures, but here's this foam, the foam bags or whatever you want to call it. They were put in. I mean, they, they're not for 
protecting stuff uh, necessarily. Like you could put some photos in it and it would protect photos like from getting smudges on them or something, but this is really thin. And then there was a layer of uh, basically, you know, white newspaper laid in the bottom, like seriously, like two layers of it. So um, here's the, I'll show you the email I got back from them. So they were going to make me, this is in the middle of all the writing. Uh, I didn't want to send my plates back and then get new ones like two months later. I wanted some plates. Um, I'll show you the email I got back from them. They wanted me to pay $40. Um, I don't think they were going to charge me to send them back, but they wanted $40. All I was asking for was for them to mail those, put it in the original box like they had sent them to me. And then put foam, like foam peanuts around that box and then put it in the bigger box. That's all I was asking for. And they were going to charge me, uh, here's the lady's name, um, Marina. She's going to charge me $40 um, to ship it. So anyway, I exchanged 40 emails with them. I don't know that I'm going to return these now. Um, you know... They may get shipped. I'm not going to pay $40 and then, you know, for some $100 plates uh, to get shipped. And, you know, the only way to know if these didn't get cracked is if, you know, you get them x-rayed and it's not worth doing that. So I just want to warm up, warn other guys that are out there that are thinking about buying these, you know, think about the way they're shipped. Uh, I think it's incredibly negligent that they would even think about shipping them that way. Um, so... <coughs> If you're thinking about getting these, watch Mr. Guns and Gear. Uh, that's kind of what sold me. Um, I don't. They probably wouldn't pass the NIJ, but if you only got 200 bucks and you want level four, this this is probably your only option. Um, and then save up some money for some other plates later. Um, so anyway, hope this was helpful. And uh, the Cry JPC, uh, I just got that in. I just bought a cheap carrier and cheap plates right off the bat to get them in quick, and then I'm starting to get better stuff. But my only complaint with the JPC is this this hang tag that you uh, hang your placard on is way higher on this side, so it's going to hang crooked. So I'm hopefully they're going to um, take this back and send me a new one. So anyway, hope that helps, guys, and uh, y'all have a good day, and stay safe out there. See you.